thank you uh, for the invitation and I'm very happy to be here. I know Ecoversity since years and I always happy to contribute in terms of ideas or, or thoughts okay. and practices also. Okay. Okay. And um, well, I am an artist. And, uh, I am an artist who is trying to uh, create uh, uh, space for uh, information, uh, for uh, uh, imagination, for uh, vision, uh, for devotion. This is uh, not a geographical space because uh, it's a space for people that meet through, uh, through dreams, uh, through visions. It's not ponderable space. You cannot uh, limit this space with uh, miserable uh, borders, but uh, it allows also people uh, to be in present, not only in flesh and blood, but in spirit. This is my, my aim. And uh, uh, I... Un secondo. I'm not sure, Emilio, if that was somebody on off mute or something. I go. I can. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh yeah. Yeah. Feel free to continue. Me? Okay. Can I continue? Yep. Okay. So I used to. Uh, I I usually uh, say that this space hosts uh, an invisible community. Um, an invisible community where people can meet through imagination and, and also an invisible community which is open and comprehends also those who pass away. Because uh, in my view, there is no a separation uh, between uh, the livings and the death. But death can be uh, an area that you can explore. So uh, this uh, um, invisible community allows people to connect uh, um, from, with to people uh, far away, long distance communication. And uh, of course, uh, you could think that uh, there is a, a, a really great tools, important tool that allows you to do that in our age, which is the internet. And it's true, and this is a proof. I'm communicating with you right now, and I'm very happy to do this, but uh, at the same time, we have to be very careful about our relationship with the, the digital world, and um, we cannot delegate to technological device our relationship with the reality. We have to be all the time aware of what we do, for example, uh, a simple gesture as a, a copy and glue, it's uh, something that has a, 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 a profound meaning if you see that from the point of view of the consciousness, because it's a, a just a, a second, a moment of lack of a consciousness in which a mechanical um, gesture come and substitute your relationship with the reality. And... Uh, the uh, invisible community, the very core of um, the very core of the invisible community, there is the uh, consciousness. I I usually uh, talk about uh, uh, general consciousness, which is something that creates a continuously new epiphany. So I see consciousness as a river, a river uh, which uh, flows, but uh, it. It's always, all the time, new. Every situation that uh, uh, come or, or are set up and uh, consider, uh, for example, uh, a meeting with another person or even the relationship with the space is a new epiphany of, of the consciousness that never have been before and never will be after because it's a kind of uh, happening which that is imminent. And uh, 
Also, there is another uh, way to uh, consider consciousness, which is the individual consciousness. The individual consciousness is something that uh, um, permit allows us to communicate with the physical world. So we have uh, uh, the consciousness to of the uh, spatial, spatial and temporal coordinates. We have uh, the control of our, um, our mind and uh, we can uh, control all the inputs that come from the outer world, from physical world, all the perceptions. And um, then uh, uh, there are some other, uh, some other uh, nuances uh, uh, which concern the consciousness. Uh, for example, the uh, awaking consciousness, the sleep consciousness, the uh, dream consciousness, and the coma consciousness. And this one, it's, it's very unknown and mysterious uh, wisdom of the consciousness. I have been working the last two years with people with consequence uh, from coma, and uh, I have understood that they, uh, they burn twice. They reburn after the coma with, uh, of course, uh, uh, many, many, uh, uh, suffering and uh, anomalies uh, due to the, 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 the coma itself. Uh, but um, I, I, I can see in their eyes a new, uh, a new force, a new vital, vital force, uh, which is similar to the eyes of, of, uh, of kids, of kids' eyes that are so open and so um, without any, any ambiguity. So uh, what I'm, I'm doing, uh, it's, it's propose uh, uh, practice and, and, and meetings, which are uh, occasional. So I am not uh, uh, the one who work inside a, a, a structures, uh, an educational structure with, with uh, uh, long-term courses or determined programs. But uh, my idea is to create some uh, space of uh, meeting and, uh, and uh, um, uh, gather people that want to contribute to this research, the research in these dimensions. And, um, and, and sometimes also I, I, somebody invite me to speak uh, about, uh, about my researches in, in, uh, in educational structure. Um, so uh, I, I am very happy to uh, be here and, and tell you uh, what, what is my, my aim and what is my um, wish in terms of uh, 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 communicating and exchange uh, uh, different aspects of these researchers that come from the uh, dream uh, uh, life uh, to the coma life. And, uh, in the, and, and if you are interested in, the, in this kind of research, please uh, uh, let me know, uh, contact me. I will uh, be happy and you will uh, welcome. And um, okay, I think uh, I, I have nothing else to do for the moment. And so I pass the word.